What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be exploring the differences between Google HUD data highlighter and scheme markup and which one is better to use for your website. So there are several different ways that you can implement schema markup to your website, whether it's through adding schema code directly to your page header, firing triggers in Google Tag Manager, or using data highlighter in Google Search Console. You may be wondering which is the recommended method for SEO. So this video will dive into those differences between data highlighter versus directly adding schema markup to your website. To start off with, I want to dive into Google Data Highlighter. And it's a tool that you can find in the old version of a Google Search Console to use to tag data fields on your websites. So Google Data Highlighter is useful for uh, showing Google how to effectively uh, present your content as rich results and better understand the content on your website, which may lead to improved keyword rankings. It's a good option to automatically mark up the contents of your website without manually writing schema code, or if you don't have access to insert code into your site header. So there are different types of data that can be marked up, ranging from article, movies, products, TV episodes. And what Google does with this information uh, is that it automatically marks up contents of similar articles and presents that data as rich content in the search results. And you can either do one of two things with this tool. When you enter a specific URL and you choose the information to highlight, you can either tag just this page or you can tag this page and others like it. And what Google does with this, if you were to choose the tag other pages that are like this one is it will, it will organize your web pages into uh, page sets. And it's basically like a, a collection of web pages, such as a template that are organized in a specific way based on the content found on the page. So good that highlighter is a great alternative. If you don't have access to your site's code to insert schema markup and you can organize into page sets to make this tool uh, quick and easy to use and it's readily available within Google Search Console. So as a quick walkthrough as to how you would use this tool, I'm just going to choose to tag this page. It will provide a list of data items that are recommended to highlight. So you literally just highlight the title, the author, the date published, the category, and then the image or whatever is requesting you to highlight. And then once you're done with that, if you're doing it for just an individual page, you would click publish. And then if you're choosing to identify a page set, then it will provide you another three or four pages to highlight similar elements. So that way you can identify the page set or the data set and emulate it for similar content found on your website. The only cons of data highlighter are that this tool only works on Google. So it won't work for other search engines like Bing or Yahoo. So you're leaving some organic traffic on the table and you're limited in the type of markup you can utilize or the pages you can tag using this tool. On the other hand, for structured data markup, this is basically an HTML based code that search engines use to better understand your website's content. So by having a better understanding of your site's content, search engines can provide better results for your search queries and even display rich results for your web pages to increase the amount of organic traffic that your website generates. There are different types of schema markup language that you can use. And the three main ones are microdata, RDFA, or JSON-LD. Without diving much into microdata or RDFA, which you have to use as part of your in-body content. JSON-LD is the preferred type of markup 
according to Google, when adding schema to your website. So just stick with JSON-LD. So the pros of schema markup compared to data highlighter is that schema is available on all search engines, not just Google. You had Bing, Yahoo, um, and Google both come together to create a uniform schema markup language that could be used across all search engines. And so um, schema markup is great in the sense that it's translatable to Bing, Yahoo, Yandex, and any other search engine that you might be getting traffic for. Um, there are also different formats that you can use depending on your individual needs. Again, ranging from JSON LOD, Microdata, uh, RDFA. And compared to Google Data Highlighter, it offers more details to search engines regarding what your bit web page is about, whether you're looking to generate rich results for like video, review, FAQ page, how to, and other markup types. The only downsides to using schema markup is that if you're not well versed in creating your own markup, it can be confusing. Again, if you're not familiar with coding. And it can also be time consuming to add structured data to your web pages. So, in my experience, JSON LED is the better option to use compared to Google Data Highlighter tool. Only because even if you're not well familiar with coding on your own, there are schema markup generators such as Merkel where it offers you the ability to add your own schema to your web pages using like article, breadcrumb, FAQ page. And all you have to do is fill out these autofills, copy the code, and then add it to the header of your web page. And even if you don't have direct access, if you're not a developer to your website and the coding associated with that page, let's say you're using WordPress, there are multiple plugins that you can use that you can um, utilize for adding your desired code to those pages to rank for rich results. And if you're using like Shopify or some other kind of CMS, there are different apps you can use that are similar to plugins. And even if you're using like Wix or Weebly, those have options that you can toggle to directly access your site's header code so that you can manually add those schema markup um, scripts and rank for rich results that way. Google Data Highlighter isn't a bad option if, again, you don't have access to your site code and your uh, organization is very strict when it comes to who can access the, the site code or add plugins or are pretty locked down from a security standpoint. But it's not quite as useful compared to uh, JSON LED schema markup because it limits you in the number of options you have to rank for rich results versus schema markup where you have an entire catalog of hundreds of different kinds of markup that you can utilize for your page depending on your specific needs and your specific niche. So hopefully you found this breakdown helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like for this video, and I will see you all for the next digital marketing tip video. Have a great day.